Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So my good friend Taylor Brown has the new iPhone 13 Pro. He recently went out and shot some real estate photo and video content, and I haven't seen this footage yet, but I figured I'd actually make uh, a bit of a reaction video and what I honestly think of the footage considering that I shoot professional photo and video content. So let's just watch his video and see what this footage looks like and then chat about it. I got it. <laughs> it's gonna look like a FPV shot. That's ridiculous. If you told me that that was done on a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, viewing it like here on YouTube, it, I would totally believe you. So that's ridiculous. Like, can we just like talk about for a second and, and really think about how far phone quality has come? Phone, camera, photo and video quality in our pockets. Like, that's insane. Obviously, I can tell like a little bit of a difference of just like, that extra like one, per, uh, that extra percent that comes from like using a really high end camera that just obviously gives it away to people like us. But like if he was really hired to do a video for that Airbnb property, like a highlight lifestyle reel, and he posted that or gave it to them, I think they would be really happy with that because it looks professional. That's, that's wild. That's wild. All right, so here's how easy it is. Set your exposure, and bam, there's that house. Okay, so now about the photos. It's kind of starting to look really, really close. Like ever since I feel like the past two models, like the 11 and the 12, if you have really good lighting and you know what you're doing and some good post-processing, you can make it look like a professional photo. And I feel like this is just another step further because some of those shots that he just showed honestly looked pretty passable for like real estate photo content. Funny thing is that if you put a professional with something that's like, not professional like this piece of gear. It's really good, but it's not like a professional camera. A professional can make it look pretty close to really like it's done with professional gear versus someone else that has the most high-end gear and doesn't really know what they're doing, it's still gonna look like trash. And so here in this case, I honestly think that Taylor could use these photos if he wanted to. And if I was swiping through this Airbnb, and I saw those, I would think they were probably professional photos. I noticed a little bit of softness around the edge, which is something that was really common on the old version. They obviously fixed it in this one, but it's still like a little bit there, a little fuzziness around the sides, and especially in low light and things like that. But it's getting so close. Like, that's the thing. It's like, how much more can we push this computational photography, this software-based photography, and can we get it to like surpass like regular mirrorless and you know things like that. It's it's wild. So, let's see if he has any other content to show.
And really quick, just in that sequence alone, we had three variations of shots. We had ultra wide shots, medium shots, and then telephoto detail shots. Oh my gosh, that is so handy because for that on a mirrorless camera, you would have to have a zoom lens plus a like really tight lens, like a hundred millimeter or something, or you would have to have like a 16 or 35 like I would, then maybe like a 50 and then like an 85 or a hundred to get that wide, to type variation. So again, the fact that this is in your phone and you can just tap to different focal lengths is ridiculous. Okay, so I just watched the footage that you shot and you showed in the video and honestly, I'm really impressed by it. Like just the fact that it's your phone is pretty ridiculous and so I wanna know some of the things, like what do you think this means for just like creators in general? Having this super accessible, pretty good camera, so versatile with the lenses and now the quality that it's producing, like what do you think that kind of means now for like people that are using professional gear like us to make some of these like real estate content, but even just like anything in general? I've seen tons of stuff on Facebook groups and everything people talking about like is it going to be replacing mirrorless cameras is the industry doomed and <laughs> all this crazy crazy stuff but i don't think for anybody that's doing this stuff professionally already this is going to be like an upgrade or something uh, i would imagine we're going to see a lot more people who have small businesses so like realtors or store owners or really any type of professional people uh, most of them already use smartphones anyways they're probably going to get upgrades uh, obviously there's other smartphones besides the iphone that have good cameras too but i think the big thing we're going to see is like people making their own content and it's a lot easier now yeah. so yeah. The fact that you can have a wide angle lens for like vlogging or for doing like real estate tours or just literally making any type of Instagram story, Facebook story, YouTube reel, TikTok, uh, yeah, with, with three different lenses that look pretty nice. Um, I think we're just going to be seeing a lot more content from probably everybody. Exactly. I think that's literally how you, you, did, you literally nailed it on that. I feel like it's not going to replace anything. It's not like I'm going to replace my camera with this. It's just going to be a new added, you know, piece of equipment or just an extra thing we can use now to enhance what we're already doing, whether it's like behind the scenes, quick story snaps or just something like that. But on the other spectrum, it's now gonna be super easy and more accessible for people that are wanting to get into this, like maybe realtors or, or how you mentioned business owners that are kind of wanting to start dabbling that. Now you totally can and it's gonna be so much easier and it's gonna be more accessible to produce, you know, probably good content. And now it's just a matter of learning still like the basics to get even better at it. Yeah, I would think it's less of like a filmmaker tool and more of a content maker tool. Exactly. Well, awesome, dude. I think that uh, I really appreciate all the insight. It was super cool of you letting me uh, you know, check out the footage and kind of make this video with me because honestly, I'm, it's super impressive. Like this computational photography, videography realm that's just expanding and growing is pretty interesting. And so it's like always evolving. And so it's, it's kind of wild though. It's just crazy. <laughs> Yeah, you got to come visit and you can test it out for yourself. Yeah, that's what we need to do. I need to come up to, Vir to Virginia so we can make some cool mountain vlogs too on the one way. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Peace. See ya. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> So that's pretty much it. I'd love to know what you guys thought of the footage that you saw, some of the insights that we are talking about. So comment down below and make sure to check out Taylor's channel. He's doing some awesome content over there about photo video tutorials, especially in the real estate space. So make sure to go sub to his channel. So leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down your thoughts, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to be part of the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget if you missed the last video, we're doing a giveaway. So. I'm gonna link that up here so you can check it out so you can win a cool piece of gear. That's pretty much it. See you guys in the next video. See ya.